Airlines are preparing for a busy day as families prepare to travel for Thanksgiving. So here's the thing, though. If you're planning to bring food on a plane for the feast, like our friend Rodney Harris has tried to do, <laughs> Brooks Baptiste has a look at the dishes allowed on board. Okay, Brooks, break All right, it down look, for let us. Let me tell you guys, this is very important information because let's face it, there are two types of people in this world. There are those who lug a you know, casserole cross country to a Thanksgiving <laughs> gathering. Then there are those like me and Rodney who prefer to just bring back some leftovers. Yes, we want yeah. to take them home, right? So either way, if you are traveling by plane, the good news is most foods can actually be carried through a checkpoint. Let's take a look at this list. All right. So foods that are allowed, you've got baked goods, you've got your meat, so all your turkey, even mm -hmm. if you like to have ribs and whatnot, you can have that too. Casseroles, <laughs> mac and cheese as well, yes, but let's mm -hmm. talk about those foods that are not allowed. You've got cranberry sauce, your gravy, uh, and even jams and jellies. Wine mm. is even on that list. I don't know how to feel about that, but according to TSA, <laughs> if it is solid, you should have no problems getting it on the plane, but if you can spill it, spray it, or it's larger than 3.4 ounces, it must go in a checked bag. Now, food items often require additional security screening, so TSA recommends placing the items in a clear plastic bag or a clear container so that it's a little easier for you to see. <laughs> and uh, also, give yourself some extra time because you know they're going to be checking things, so just make sure you're there early so you don't have to worry about missing your flight 